Hello guys, who here back with an updated ring crafting guide. So if you've seen my previous guide from 1 to 250, nothing is super new to you. There is only the 250 to 300 part that I'm going to add in this one. Also, the other one was, you know, with some background music and stuff like that. It was a great video, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it was just time to make a new ring crafting guide. So with that said, you know, in the description, I have typed everything out so you know what materials you need to get and how much of it you are going to get yourself. So with that said, let's just start getting into the crafting. All right, so 300 is the max as it is right now, but we're going to start from 100 uh, or zero, I guess, one to 50. You are going to get yourself some diamonds. So these are going to craft your diamonds. You need to fit craft 50 of these to get to the next level and you, it's going to need you some flux some primal flame and some ores you can go ahead and make some of these other ones these are also going to give you skill uh, that's basically everything is going to give you skill as you uh, go through uh, every single step but this is going to be needed for crafting some of the rings later on so with that we are going to move into the dappler tier so the tablet tier uh you only can craft ring there is nothing else but as you can see this is where you need the diamond it doesn't really matter which ones you are going to need if you are just starting out of course you should take something that uh, suits you maybe it's something with magic damage something with physical damage depending on what you are maining and there can also be health regen or health additional health actually but you, you know you probably just want to work into those magic damage and those physical damage ones so that is going to take you from 50 to 100 by crafting 50 of each of these here rings that's why you need all the diamonds but that was the dabbler tier. Let's move into the next tier, and that is the enthusiast. And as you can see here, again, we got the same deal as we had in the before. Again, you're gonna craft yourself 50 rings of each of these, and you can be loot collected back to some of the materials and stuff like that, so don't worry about that. But yeah, just in the enthusiast, again, we got 50 rings of any one you like. You can do whatever you want, uh, again, Maybe take some of the classes that you play the most. Maybe if there's the magic ones or the physical elements and try to get some of those if you're just starting out. But if you are just, you know, trying to get up to the next tier, just craft whatever you want. So the next tier we got is the jewelers. So the jewelers uh, tier is the same deal again with the diamonds. That's why we need so many diamonds. You can also go back and craft yourself more diamonds if you do want to do so. Uh, but as you can see, it's the same deal, just a higher tier. There's nothing new under the sun, nothing new that we are, uh, you know, experience here. We have done this before. So many of people are basically at 250, but there might be some new, new people out there that want to know which ones you have to craft. And again, it's all linked in the description, which materials you need to get to get to the next tier. So now we got the master ring crafter again, very much the same, nothing really super new. So I'm not going to make a big deal. This time you do need two diamonds, you know, we're down to one, but now you need two diamonds. I do you need a little bit more? Yeah, the shape, uh, shape stone are also getting uh, a boost to uh, each time you are. And again, 50 rings of these as well as you had to do in the jewelers. It's always 50 the next to the next tier. All right, so now we get into the Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings is not the movie, but this is where it gets, you know, cool and gets more a little bit more technical. Because here we got the rainbow ones, we got the shadow ones, and we got the radiant ones, and we got the still ones so stellar used to be the biggest tier but now we got crystal rings as well so from going you can craft rings if you want to do so if you you can maybe use one if you are like missing a ring you just got to this tier you, you're playing yourself you know getting uh more and more uh power ranks and stuff maybe one of the stellar rings would be cool and such but uh, you, you mostly want to make yourself shadow diamonds or the celestial diamonds. And you might be also wondering, why would you want to make this? Well, first of all, of course, you need it for this, but you're also going to need it for the next tier. So I'll link that down in the description. You can choose either, you know, the shadow diamonds or the celestial diamonds, whatever you have materials for. But it doesn't really matter which ones you did. I did mostly shadow uh, diamonds because I thought I was missing those, but I saw it as normal diamonds. So I don't have really many celestial diamonds, so I got to get myself some meteorite fragments to get your, myself some more of that. But this is what it, these are going to cost meteorites, uh, crystalline clouds, golden souls, and flux as well. And the shadow ones are Eye of Teula, and of course, the flux, the primal flames, and the shaped stone 
or to craft yourself some of these. And I, like I said, I crafted some of these because I am going further to the third tier or I'm going to start making myself some, you know, uh, crystal rings. And I'm also going to explain this in this video, like how they work and such. I'm also going to explain to you what that is going to work. But yeah, all these other tiers are basically very easy, very simple. And again, it's linked in the description how you are going to do it. So let's assume you're just making, you know, shadow diamonds and crystal uh, celestial diamonds uh, to kind of equal of each, right? Depending on how many materials you have. Now you are 300 uh, pass about the paragon level but 300 ring crafting and now we are into the crystal rings and i'm not gonna go into very much what they are and how like i'm gonna tell you how you're gonna get to crystal four but i'm not gonna tell you what they like stats and stuff like that i have a video for that and i will uh, link it in the description as well uh, so you guys can check it out if you want to know more about like like what are the stats on the different ones and what do yeah, how do they work and stuff like that and all linked in the uh, in the description of that so first of all you got yourself the uh, each ring here uh, is basically one it's it's based on the class so before it's just like random but now they are specific to the class and you're going to start out by having the tier ones of course or crystal one rings yes and it's going to use you the loops the loops you get from every time you earn yourself a paragon level when you get to max level you start getting paragon levels you can also get them from the pinatas and you can also get some boxes from the pinatas and those boxes from the pinatas they're called something something uh, but those contain, you just open those and whatever class you are on, it's going to give you, you know, a, a, a primal loop to that class. So I just wanted to make sure that I said that correctly. So if, you, for example, you have two of these boxes, you're always guaranteed to get one. I don't know if you can get more, but you're at least guaranteed to get one of these primal loops uh, each box right so let's say you want one on your dracolite you open one box there you want one on your ninja you have to switch to your ninja and then open the box after it's not like you get to choose it's whatever active class you have right now of course we know the crystalline cores that's from you know uh, geo top side worlds these are the diamonds and the shadow uh, diamonds that i was talking about uh, celestial diamonds and shadow diamonds that I was talking about before. That's why we're going to need them. As you can see, I should have made more celestial. I'll make that to get to tier four myself in a short while. And then nitro as well. And this is, of course, also from farming in the, what's it called? Uh, Geo sub sites. Geo top side. That's what it's called. As you can see, very uh, much right there. You can also get it off the marketplace if you choose to do so. But let's say I want to craft myself. Uh, let me see where is the... Uh, that crack light, right? So I do have some loops and I also got a lot of the primal loops because I opened some boxes while I was on this here. So the point is, then I will craft myself a bunch of these. There is a chance you will get these royal ones and you can get these uh, gilded ones. I'm going to call them gilded ones. I hope that's right how I say it. But the royal ones are going to contain, you know, at least crystal two or better. So there's a chance of getting three and four out of these, but it's very rare. And then of course you got the gilded ones and these can be at least three and maybe better. So what I said is if you craft yourself a bunch of these, there is a chance you can actually get some of these royal ones or some of these gilded ones. And then you are basically set. Um, I tried it on the PTS server and tried to make some of these. I got some, a bunch of these, uh, well, not a bunch of these, but I got a, a decent amount and then I opened these and I was kind of lucky in getting some of these. But I've seen people also getting, you know, these out of the these up here. So start making some of these. But uh, keep in mind that, let me see if I can find the Dracolite again. Uh, there we go, Dracolite. You need yourself so, still the loop. So keep that in mind. You do get some of it back when you loop collect the rings you have. You do get some of the loops back and stuff like that. I don't think you get the primal loops back, but I know you get the other uh, loops uh, back as well. I can craft myself a, a one right here. Oh, that was for the <laughs> for the little quest there is. So let me open this one. Got myself a ring. So this was a crystal, uh, just straight up crystal one ring. Let me go to the loot collector real quick. Uh, so you can see you get, you know, the loot back, you get the uh, diamonds back as well. I don't know if you get the one-to-one -one diamonds back. Let me just look what I used. Yeah, you get exactly the same uh, diamonds and stuff like that. Too bad. You lose the cores, you lose, the, you lose the, of course, the nitro, 
And of course you lose also the primal loop. So you don't get those back, but you do get a little bit of stuff back. But let me go back to the Draconite. Now you need some of these tickets. And this is also from loot collecting rings. So if you loot one or two rings, you get this uh, ring crafter ticket with the blue top on it. I know it's probably pretty hard to see, but the up there is that. So when you then loot collect something more, you can get uh, these are from the rings or uh, crystal three rings or four rings. You get these with the same or with the red top on them. And this is what we use for, of course, the... Uh, now I can't find the drag light. I found it. <laughs> I found it. So, so basically, you loot collect, you know, uh, crystal one and two rings. You get the blue top. If you uh, loot collect three and four, you get the red top tickets. I can call them like red top or blue top. I don't know if you can say it like that. But you still need the loops. You still need the cores. You still need the diamonds. And you need the nitro. It does go up in price. As you can see, five cores to uh, ten cores. I don't know if the nitro goes up. The nitro also gets up, goes up. As you can see, 15, 20, and 25 each craft. And uh, the tickets is the same. And I think it's basically if you loot collect one. Let me go ahead and uh, loot collect this one. Because I don't really want this one. Uh, yeah, you get only one ticket. Oh, let me uh, look like that. You only get one uh, ticket uh, down here, and you need five tickets to, to do so. So I have to craft myself a bunch of these, but I'm pretty sure if you do uh, two or three or something like that, you get like five of them or something like that. So it's not super punishing for crafting some of all of these here. So yeah, I just wanted to add this to how you are going to go from Crystal 1 to Crystal 5, because it's a part of the ring crafting journey i guess as well but pretty much that's all i had for the ring crafting guide if you liked this guide i hope you did you found it informa much information if you did make sure you comment down below like and subscribe helps me out so incredibly much and i so much appreciate you guys just keep supporting the channel it's absolutely amazing thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye